Visiting a new city should be a pleasurable experience, but some people in different cities can ruin the entire experience. And I'm not talking about crime. Being in angry cities in America is just as bad. Most times you just want to go about your day, get what you pay for from stores, or mingle because you're single. In these five rude cities in America, you may get into a shouting match or come to blows because these people will test your patience. Usually they've been fighting for everything they own in their city and they want to test their disrespect skills out on tourists, you. This list should get you ready if you're flying into one of these cities. You will have your guards up and be ready for verbal battles of wits, stare downs, and sneak disses. To film Passport King's domestic travel videos called Landmarks, which you can check in the playlist here, I've traveled to almost every city in the United States. I've experienced the best people to the most unfriendly people. I've also gotten some meanest city data from others who have traveled or lived in these cities. Do you live in these cities? Have you noticed how mean they are? Are you part of the problem? Is your patriotism to the city making you blind to the fact that y'all are rude? Well, today on Password Kings, I'm gonna go over the five meanest cities in America. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision while you're choosing your next vacation. All right, so number five is New York, New York. I know everyone was expecting New York to be closer to the top of this list. The truth is the meanest people in New York are not native New Yorkers. A lot moved from other countries and brought that mean attitude with them. Native New Yorkers really ain't that rude. In a rush, yes, because a million people will be where they're headed and they know they'll be stuck in a line forever. But generally, if you ask them for directions, most of them will stop in the middle of a drug deal and hold your hand to make sure that you get to where you need to go. Say what's up to one of them and they'll give you a pound and a bear hug while simultaneously trying to figure out where they know you from. New Yorkers are serious about protecting themselves and their stuff. Messing with a person, their family, or that person's stuff is where you can go horribly wrong. New Yorkers are willing to burn the whole city down to get revenge and make an example out of you. And lastly is the people that follow you around the stores. They're paid And that's only because New Yorkers will five finger discount the hell out of a store and smile on the way out. Number four is Salt Lake City. In other countdowns about the same subject that I read, Salt Lake City gets cited as one of the places with the nicest people. Yeah, right. Maybe it's a great place for people of a lighter hue, but for the original man, the people in this city are not very nice. You'll get shoved while walking and they won't even turn around to see what happened. Well, to be fair, I lost my credit card in the Salt Lake City Airport once and it was returned to the lost and found. But it took me over two hours to find out that there was a lost and found and no one was helpful. They gave me a phone number to call where no one answered. I got treated like it was my imagination that I ever had a debit card to begin with. Also, an NBA fan had to be banned for life from the Utah Jazz Arena because of the way they talked to Russell Westbrook and other players. Kyle Korver, a white 16-year NBA veteran, said his experience as a white player in the NBA dramatically differs from his black colleagues while playing in Salt Lake City. Now watch to the end of this video so you can pick up my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Number three is Old Douglasville. When I mentioned this dump as one of the worst places to live in Georgia in a previous video, the rudeness of this city's residents revealed itself on full display in my comment section. It seems like they was ready to kill or be killed while defending their make-believe utopia. Douglasville, with the help of the county police, will crush one of its own residents' finances and make you think you're a criminal even when you're not. People said Cobb County ain't that much different than Douglas County. That's not true. One person told me that a paid lawyer was laughed out of court when he tried to defend his client. In Douglasville, there's no such thing as a state-appointed attorney. Most people are out there defending themselves and getting fried by the court system. As soon as one of my close friends got out of this city's jail, he evacuated his very nice home in that city. He was willing to suffer the penalties of an abandoned mortgage just to get the hell out of there permanently. With all the money this city is extorting from its residents, you would think that this city would look advanced or contemporary. It doesn't. A lot of people said, but there's $600,000 homes in Douglasville. Yes, and they belong to the judge and everybody in the criminal justice system. The judge, lawyers, and bail bondsmen must be pocketing whatever they could get from this city's population of victims because that place looks like Hazard County from the Dukes of Hazard TV show. I wouldn't let my worst enemy move to Douglasville. And if I ever do a countdown about worst cities in the world, Douglasville will be on that list too. Douglasville. 
Number two is Jackson, Mississippi. Racism is alive and well. If you ever needed proof, go hang out in Jackson or anywhere in Mississippi. The black people who live there are so used to racist, they don't even bother standing up for themselves anymore. They come up with silly sayings to lick their wounds like, they ain't gonna never let us have nothing nice. They also rub the top of their hands to explain why another human is getting away with unlawful things. Like as if that's supposed to be an excuse. Only white lives matter in Jackson. Fumi Franklin of the Jackson Free Press once wrote, the idea is so rampant in this state that it needs to be called by its proper name, Mississippi racism. It breathes a different air than other racist places. Mississippi is like the Michael Jordan of racist states in the union. Forget going to a black history museum. If you ever want to take a trip back in time to understand what things was like during slavery and Jim Crow, be black, go to Jackson, and go into the nearest mom and pop owned restaurant or hardware store. But if you want to see the other parts of the world and all its beauty, make sure you go to www.passwithkings.com and book a trip. We compare over 4 million flights and hotel brands in one place. And number one is New Orleans. When you go to the store, the cashiers look at you like, what the f are you coming in this store for? Everything extra that you order seems to be added onto the reasons why they're gonna you up if they ever see you after they shift. Homeless people in other cities will ask you for money. The homeless people in New Orleans will look at you while pounding their fist in their palm, daring you to come closer. Hollering at a chick is a death wish. The funny thing is, while they warn you about the terrible things that they're gonna get done to you, they'll use Southern hospitality. Don't get yourself killed out here now, baby. <laughs> All right, so what mean cities did I miss? Type them down in the comments below and tell me about it. My ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More is free. Get it by joining the newsletter at PassportKings.com. I've attached my playlist of my domestic travel series called Landmarks USA to the end screen so you can navigate America like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.